Yo, what's up, man? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool collage transition in After Effects. So let's just hop right into this. Uh, this is day three of posting every day this month. Uh, so make sure to stay locked in, boys. We're going crazy, man. We're going crazy. So this is the reference that I want to base this off of right here. This is from iCandy.com. If you guys want effect ideas for music videos, definitely make sure to check this out. But shout out to this person, uh, whoever you are that made this. This is just a, a picture, this is just a still. I wanna turn this into a video. So I'm gonna transition from this right here into this. First thing I wanna do is zoom in to the face, okay? Let's maybe keyframe it out. So it's gonna be like right here. Let's zoom it out just a little bit, maybe like right there. And then in the middle here, I'm gonna bring up my proportional grid. So click this little bastard right here. And then we're just gonna zoom in and let's get like decently close, maybe about right there. And then, you know, have it as symmetrical as you can. So line up the nose, the eyes, maybe even rotate it if, you, if you'd like, but do the same thing with this one. Let's go ahead and drag it over this first clip and then change the opacity. So bring down the opacity so that we can just kind of line up her face right here maybe line up the eyes a little bit, maybe rotate it again, just a little bit. So, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect though, obviously. Transform right there, let's bring up the opacity again. And then at the end of the clip, let's maybe zoom it out just like a little bit like that. Maybe that's a little too much to start out. We have something that looks like that. First off, what I would do is I would grab this first clip, duplicate it, and then right click on the last frame, go to time, freeze frame or you can do freeze on last frame okay let's have it last for about 20 frames or, or a little bit less than that yeah so right about there so because i keyframed some keyframes in here what i'm going to do is duplicate this layer and then Control shift c to pre-compose it and then i'm just going to time freeze frame it on the first frame okay if, it, if that was a little fast just go back and then now we can go ahead and just bring this down here so so far we have something that looks like this okay and now we can even shorten these probably a little bit you know bring it in a little bit tighter yeah and that's like definitely that's definitely a lot better right there like that i want to actually just have these overlap a little bit let's bring down the opacity and now i can start just creating some random masks in here we can just duplicate the layer a whole bunch of times so let's do like one two three four five and let's grab a mask on this first one We'll do this right eye right here. And then for this second one, we can go ahead and grab the mouth right here. And then for the third one, we can grab the other eye right here. And then for the fourth one, we can grab, I don't know, like just like maybe, maybe a mask like this going straight down the face right there. And then on this last last two maybe we can do a long one going along the face like this right here and then maybe for this this last one we can grab like maybe going down okay so yeah there we go so we're, we're seeing like definitely some cool shit so maybe maybe let's do like no let's do let's do something like that like you know what i mean maybe like like that or something okay yeah that's pretty cool type shit maybe let's grab like some bits and pieces of her like hair let's duplicate that so let's delete the mask and then you know let's just grab like big chunks for the background uh let's just grab like this big chunk right here but then let's like bring it down like that you know what i mean and then we can duplicate that layer and then delete the mask again and let's grab another big chunk, maybe like in this bottom half right here. And then we can push this in right there. So you know what I mean? Like we're, we're starting to get some cool shit. But now, obviously, I also want to like, I want to move around the main ones that we, we did first. You know what I mean? So let's grab that one. And then let's grab, let's grab the mouth one. And let's, you know, and also you probably want to name your layers. So like this one, you could name like mouth one so already we haven't even really made the transition yet but this is what we're, we have so far so it's going from this to this and this could already you could you could get creative and, and make something cool 
with this you don't even have to use a transition or anything right here and i'm just going to repeat that same process so i'll grab that eye right there maybe over here I can grab this duplicate that bottom layer again grab the nose duplicate the layer again from the bottom and then grab the mouth pretty much just do the same shit basically repeat that process maybe go along this way and then so we got something that looks like this now let's go ahead and grab another big chunk over here and then again just push this in a little bit sheesh bro that looks actually so sick dude what the heck and this is like definitely weird bro but it's cool i like it okay so i think we have enough right so we have all these for this one all these for this one and you know we can keyframe these in let's grab the nose let's bring this down and let's you know type shit so let this push it over a little bit and we can do the same with this one i want them all to be popping up at different different times as well let's bring this above this layer that we're transitioning into and yeah let's see let's go ahead and just i'm just literally gonna randomly start like moving these in and out at different points and let's just kind of see what this looks like like maybe if some of these come in earlier you know what i mean like i don't know and we can we can retime this later i just want to just get like a random example and just see what this looks like you know when it's it's popping in and out at different points like this you know let's go ahead and do some like that Let's just try this out. Okay. So to start out, we have something that looks like this right there. Okay. Okay. I just want to, I want to, I don't want to cover up these front ones too much. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Yeah. So like right around here, everything is covered up. Definitely way too much. So we can, we can push everything to the right a little bit more. You know what I mean? So we can see this first clip a lot better. Ooh, bro. Yeah. This is crazy. So I know this looks complicated, but you guys just saw me. It took me about 10 seconds to just randomly arrange these. That's definitely, that's definitely dope. I think what I want is I just want it to last a little bit longer over here on the left. Yeah, that's, that, I think that's the last thing I really need to do is like just have it pop up. Because I want both of them to be, like I, I want both of them to be represented equally. That feels a little bit better. Let's maybe push it over a little bit more. Ooh, okay. Yeah, see, there we go. Yeah, okay. I think that's, I think that's good right there. Okay, let's, let's, let's go with that. So now let's go ahead and just pre-comp everything together. This is a Sapphire Parallax Strips. Now this is cool. Uh, what we, what we should do is we should just grab where it starts. So right here, Control Shift D, split the layer. And then where it ends, go ahead and split the layer again. And then let's add on Parallax Strips. And we can bring down the end strips to maybe something like that to 12 and then that's really just going to add some more boxes that are going to you know and you can you can do a bunch of different stuff with this you can change the angle you can change the depth actually that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie let's do that this is a pretty you know this is a good color grade it's there's nothing wrong with it here but i just i like to make it look harsh and a little bit ugly you know what i mean i just like to bring some of those darker colors out more make them a little bit more prominent uh, so let's just kind of leave it like that. Another thing you could do is you could add on like a CRT preset. I'm going to go ahead and add on one of my CRT presets. So I'll do control alt Y and then add on CRT basic. And then, you know, kind of right before it pops up, we can add it like right about there. So I can just split the layer and then right there. And then, so yeah, this is with the CRT preset applied. Actually, one thing I forgot to do, I'm going to go back in here and I want to actually apply drop shadow to all of these so we can increase the opacity increase the distance a little bit and then just increase the softness maybe bring down the distance again a little bit bring up the soft softness bring down the opacity so it's going to look like this before and this after it's just going to add a little bit of depth a little bit of like 3d feel to it and then we can just literally apply this to you don't have to do it to every every layer but I just i think it would would definitely look good so i'll just i'm gonna do it to every layer and then do it in here too so that you know like i yeah i feel like that definitely adds a lot of character to this character oh my gosh 
What is this fucking film study? Yeah, by the way, the CRT preset is customizable. I didn't do anything to it. This is just what it looks like here on the adjustment layer. But I kind of, it, it looks a little bit too abrupt going from here to there. I mean, it looks, it looks good, but you know, I kind of want to add like a little bit of a glitch right there. So this is not sponsored. I'm going to go up and grab one of my extensions. This is Motion Bro. And I'm just going to grab one of these glitch presets and I'm just going to apply this one right there. And then you guys can trim this however you guys want. The peak is obviously where the peak of the effect happens right there. It's labeled and that just adds like a nice little glitch like that that I like. Just makes it a little bit more smooth in my opinion. So I'm not going to do it over here. I think it looks really good going from this to that. I think it looks awesome. And then I'm going to go. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this type of content, I'm dropping content every single day for this month. I'm very excited. And if you guys want to save time while editing, make sure to check out my website. I've spent uh, the last two years making the best products that I can for y'all. And also I've got some new stuff coming out very, very soon. Uh, might drop even like today or tomorrow. I don't know, but the best products I've, I've made so far. So I'm very excited to announce that. But yeah, man, I appreciate it. I'm always, man. Peace out, man. J-Mo, you made this?